It's fair to say, for us YouTube filmmakers, our inspirations often comes straight from the movies. And for me, A24's stuff is pretty much always on my watch list. Even if the movie isn't totally my thing, the visuals of their stuff is always a killer. I just saw The Iron Claw, definitely not on my top five movies, but there's this scene I'm itching to recreate. Oh wait, I need a ring. Oh wait, let me call coach. Hey, what's going on, coach? How you doing, it's Sean. Listen, you still got that ring lying around your gym by any chance? No, I took it to my fucking bedroom. Of course, it's still there. All right, that's great. Listen, man, I just, I got this great idea for this shot. I want to come in. I'll be quick. Anytime you tell me. I don't know, man. Last time you guys came here, uh, it was so much fun. No, I, I promise you, know? you. I promise you, I'm not going to do anything that's going to damage the ring. We'll just come in. You broke the toilet little... seat last time. I know, coach. And I had to pay for I understand. the thing myself. I understand. Thank and you. I know you're gonna break the ring. No, I'm not gonna break your ring. I promise you that. Thank you, I appreciate that. Looks like we got a ring. Let's do this. Show this to your friends in Italy. So I want to do a little bit of breakdown of how this lighting is set up. It's pretty simple. We have one over the top light softbox coming in with the Amarok 200D. Fill this whole place up with a lot of haze, with a lot of smoke. And my man over here is oiled up. We saw in a video that there's a slight red light hitting Mr. Zaf uh, Zafron. Zac Afron, is it? No, it's not Zafron, is it? It's Zac Afron, my bad. It's hitting him from the bottom, and we created this tube light right here, just a little bit, and I pointed it about 45 degrees angle, facing away from Matt's, because I don't want it to be too strong on him. But um, that's giving us the red that we want, and we only see that red when Mr. Zafron, Zafron is a, my, Zach, my, Zach. my fault, my fault. Zach Afron is clo standing closer to the, to the ring, and when he goes away, the, the red goes also away. And, the rest really happens to, to create that look in the, uh, you know, coloring suite. And we're gonna take you there after that to show you how we can achieve that look. But for now, that's pretty much it. One light here, one light there, enough contrast. And we're gonna create that green and reddish look later in the post. So um, that's it. So I already explained to you, my man, how the movement works. Two neck stretches, a little bit of shake, a little bit of this, right hand, and then you start bouncing. Action. Shit. Marcel's gonna kill me. So after what just happened, I don't think Coach is gonna let me back into that gym anytime soon to film again. We're back in the studio and I wanna show you how we can, you know, achieve this iron claw look, this specific scene. Now, just like, you know, illustration in Photoshop, there's different approaches and different ways to achieve a certain result. And, you know, I'm not a colorist. Just like you, I watch a lot of YouTube videos to learn to do uh, certain grades and whatnot. And definitely the gentleman that I like to tune into is what Mr. Wakaz Ghazi, I'm saying his name right, and he has his way of showing you how, you know, the professional people do it in Hollywood, and I'm going to do the great inspired by Mr. Wakaz Ghazi, and after that, I'm going to show you a couple of like easier techniques, and I'll get to that later because you're going to love those, how crazy and how easily with DaVinci Resolve you can achieve this look without even having to go through this professional way of uh, grading, but let's get to it. This is our first shot right here. 
the structure i'm going to show you quickly how this structure works first one is obviously the color space transform and you know how this rolls with a sony a7s3 or whatever your camera is now that we have our image out of the log the second note i'm going to call this highlights and i'm going to get back to that and tell you why that is and over here we're going to call this printer lights and this will be our primaries and over here is going to be because this is kind of a orange tealish look i'm going to give it the ot correction we're going to do the actual ot later i'm going to add some glow and finish it off with a grain all right now so the first things we're going to try to do is to kind of just fix my primaries now if i look at the footage from the film this is what the parade looks like in the scopes all right and we're trying to get closer to that in just a little bit so the first thing i see is that my shadows are kind of way too dark so i'm just going to bring it up a touch in my primaries just a bit so i can have that and the reason i have the printer lights here is because i'm going to try use it to try to get closer to this look right here all right so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to make this image a lot warmer and make it more closer to this look and add a lot of warmness into them it's going to boost up the temperature uh, over here you can see there's a lot more red here in the highlights and the midtones it's almost the same i'm going to come back here introduce a little bit of red in the highlights even more now after that i'm going to make the first attempt to give this the look that i need i'm going to add a bit of teal in the lift and I'm going to cancel that out a little bit by adding a little bit of orange in the gamma now why do we have the OT correction because now I can go back in here because you can see all in the hair and pretty much everywhere in the shadows we see green and we don't want that right I'm going to come here in my log and I'm just going to reduce the green until I get my hair colors back all right now if you just look at that the difference here look how much of that green we got rid of out of the hair but the problem is we've lost a lot of that in the overall image so i'm going to come back here in the ot and add a little bit of more of teal in the shadows and i'm just going to bring up the shadows just a bit just like that all right you see that now i still got green when i turn off the ot correction and i still have a look and my hair is not green at all now let's go ahead and add a glow effect to this just to kind of separate him a little bit give it that 300 look as mr gazi says and i'm gonna go with soft light bring down the spread the shine threshold and I'm just gonna blend it and use the blend just to reduce it a bit and just add just a touch. All right, we are getting closer and closer to our reference. I like to think so. And the reason we are able to do that is mainly because we followed pretty much the same lighting principles when we were shooting this thing, which helps a ton when you do this. Now, Let's add a little bit of grain. Film grain, I'm just gonna go a little bit more aggressive. And if you look at it here, a lot better. Now, for the highlights, if you look at the highlights here and you compare it to, this is a lot more subtle as of this one. It's got a lot of specular and that's why I created these highlight notes at the beginning. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this on and we're gonna go and see where we stand here. So, all right, now let me go back to my primary wheels and I'm going to 
just bring down the highlights there you go this definitely gives it that film look and makes it a lot more similar to that now there's obviously a lot of tweakings you can do to try to get closer to this image but i'm going to leave it at that so we don't make this video too long but here's the the sweet part of the video and here's the funny part you know we've all heard about the color match option in davinci resolve and we've used it and in most cases it really doesn't do an amazing job but when you have almost identical lighting as your reference just watch what happens when i apply the color match using davinci resolve you're not going to believe this this is the clip originally uncreated all right so i'm just gonna pick the reference go here and say shot match to this clip are you ready check this out boom just out of the box look at that look at that that's pretty amazing now obviously it looks a little bit too contrasty because this is this is the look that we got already manually looks a lot more neater but a little bit of adjustment for example that highlight note that we talked about at the beginning When you apply that already look how beautiful this looks right very similar and that is pretty much it guys i hope you found this video useful let me know in the comments if you want me to do more videos like this until then stay safe